Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K. I welcome you all to the new series, Let's Hack an X-Ray. So today we'll be discussing a very common fracture that is the Collis fracture. We will see what are the X-ray findings, what are the causes, and we'll explain it in detail. So what is Collis fracture? That is the first question. The fracture of the distal end of radius with dorsal displacement of the fragment is termed as the Collis fracture. So let's see how it looks in an X-ray. So before going to that, we'll see the normal X-ray of the radius. Here you can see the lower end of radius. And this is the palm here where you can see the carpal bones. And this is the ventral aspect of the palm or the palmar surface. And this is the dorsum of the hand. And you can see everything, the soft tissue line. It is a straight line here, almost straight line. And even the bone, if you observe the margins, they are very clean and there is no discontinuity in the margin of the bone. And this is the lower end of radius. So this is the normal X-ray. Now let's compare it with a Collis fracture X-ray. Like here, you can see the carpal bones are like slightly displaced. And here you can see the lower end of radius is fractured almost 2.5 centimeters from the end. Like you can see here, this is the distal end of the radius and almost 2.5 centimeters above from there, there is a fracture and the fractured fragment is displaced backwards. And that is the typical presentation of the Collis fracture. Here, the backward displacement of the fragment of the distal end fracture is termed as the Collis fracture. So here you can see the palmar aspect and this is the dorsum of the hand. And you can see the straight line of the soft tissue that has changed into a curve here. And it almost like aligns with the, that of a dinner fork. And hence it is called as a dinner fork deformity as well. So let's see what are the causes of the Collis fracture. So here, when you fold down on an outstretched hand, the complete pressure will come on the distal end of radius. And that causes the fracture of the distal end and particularly 2.5 centimeters above the lower end or the distal end of the radius. And the fractured fragment will get displaced backwards. And here you can see a curve that is formed on the just proximal, just proximal to the wrist joint here. And that defines the dinner fork deformity. So here we have a representation of the dinner fork. So here you can see it almost attains the curvature of that of the dinner fork. And that's why it is called as the dinner fork deformity. So this concludes today's session on the Collis fracture. And thank you. So if you have any further radiological anatomy queries, do post them as the comments below. Thank you.